Good morning, fellow disciples. Our devotional today is entitled, Witnessing the Power of Miracles. Our passage on the reflection is Acts 3, verses 6 to 8. Peter said, Silver or gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Then he took him by the right hand and helped him up, and instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. Then he went into the temple courts with them, walking and jumping and praising God. Let us reflect on the awe-inspiring power of miracles, tangible demonstrations of God's love and grace. This passage vividly portrays the transformative power of God's grace manifested through the miraculous healing of a lame man. Peter, empowered by the Holy Spirit, didn't rely on his own power. He acted in the name of Jesus Christ, demonstrating the source of true power. The immediate and complete healing underscores the supernatural nature of the miracle, a clear demonstration of God's ability to intervene in human affairs. The man's subsequent actions, walking, jumping, and praising God, testify to the profound impact of this miraculous intervention, a life transformed by God's power. This miracle isn't merely a historical event. It's a testament to God's ongoing power to heal, restore, and transform lives. How are we empowered from these verses? This account empowers us with the knowledge that God is still active in the world today, still performing miracles. It reminds us that his power is not limited by time or circumstances. He can intervene in any situation, bringing healing, restoration, and hope. It empowers us to believe in the possibility of miracles, to pray for healing and restoration, and to trust in God's ability to work in and through us. It encourages us to live lives of faith, expecting God to act in miraculous ways. Today, I urge you to pray for those who are suffering, believing in God's power to heal and restore. Don't limit God's power by your own doubts or unbelief. Believe that He can do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask or think. Be open to his leading, trusting that he may use you as an instrument of his grace, bringing healing and restoration to those around you. Remember, miracles are not just about physical healing. They are about the transformative power of God's love, changing lives, and bringing glory to his name. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for the miraculous power you have demonstrated throughout history and continue to demonstrate today. Empower us to believe in the possibility of miracles, to pray for healing and restoration, and to trust in your ability to work in and through us. May our lives be a testament to your power and your grace. Amen.